Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome to my very first voiceover. Today I'm making some swatch cards for my ink. I got this idea from Chris Signs and I will link her channel below. I'm making the cards out of this Canson watercolor paper that I got at Walmart. And it's pretty affordable, it's about $5 per pack, so you can use that to make lots and lots of swap cards. So let's get started! This is a sample from the first batch of cards that I made. And now I'm going to start tearing out some pages. And the paper is perforated, but you do have to be kind of careful if you don't want to tear it. And I'm not too worried about the edges being a little ragged, I just want to make sure that I don't tear the paper. And I think I end up taking out about five or six pages. Not too hard. And now it's time to move on to the cutting. So here is my trusty paper cutter. And I'm gonna measure my sample to make sure I've got the measurements correct. And if you'll notice, that says two and a quarter. But when I first looked at it, I thought it said two and a half. And then it's four inches long. So I had the numbers two and a half by four in my mind, and I was trying to figure out how to make the cards on this nine by 12 paper. I, um, I used the entire sheet of paper. I don't have any um, waste left over, but I couldn't figure out how two and a half inch wide cards were gonna fit on this paper. But I finally realized the cards had to be two and a quarter inches wide. So let's get cutting. So each piece of paper, I am going to cut into three strips and the strips are going to be four inches wide. So there's my first strip. And I'm gonna cut this one in half and make two more strips. They're all four inches wide. And then each of those strips, I'm going to cut into four equal cards that are two and a quarter inches wide. And there's our first card. It's as easy as that. And I am cutting on a little folding table, so please excuse the camera shaking. And while I was doing all of this cutting, I was watching The Americans on Amazon Prime. Boy, is that show depressing. It's also very distracting, and you shouldn't get distracted while you're trying to cut out paper, because then things like this happen. Whoops! That card is not two and a quarter inches wide. Oh well, moving on. Now it's time to round our corners. Round the corners on my 10,000 little swatch cards. This was not the corner rounder I was looking for. It was the only corner rounder that I could find. And yes, I do have more than one corner rounder, so please don't judge me. But it worked okay. So I got started on my giant stack of swatch cards. So corner, corner, corner. Here we go. I'm not even halfway through this stack yet, and I'm already starting to lose feeling in my thumbs. But that's okay, because I want my swatch cards to have rounded corners. So I will persevere. And I'm still watching the Americans. And we're almost done. And at last, I have rounded my last corner. And if you'll notice, the corners do not match. I will try not to let that drive me insane because now I have to make dots on the cards so I know where to punch out my holes. So I'm just going to make little light colored dots on all of the cards so I know where to use my hole puncher and punch out the holes. And this is a long process. 9,997. 9,998 and 9,999 and, and oh, 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 wait, oh, 10,000 and I'm done. Oh, wait, nope, gotta punch those holes out. So here is my trusty hole punch and we're gonna get started on this giant pile of cards. And this might take a little while, folks. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven, nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight, nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine, ten thousand beautiful cards to use for my ink swatches. I hope you give this a try yourself, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.